we're given a quarter circle with radius four centimeters. Inside that circle are two semicircles, which are drawn on the two radii of our original quarter circle. And this creates four separate areas. We need to work out what is the area of the blue area. First thing we're going to need to do with this is to split it up into shapes that we can work with, that we've got formulae for, and so on. And then we can start applying some numbers to this. The first thing I'm going to split is that bottom left shape, the rugby ball shaped one. And I'm going to chop this in half like that. And I'm going to call the left hand part of this A, the right hand part B, and the other blue area I'm going to call C. The way I'm going to solve this is by working out those three areas separately, bringing them back together at the end. There are other ways of thinking about it. This is just the way I'm going to attempt it. Now to get a formula to work out A and B, I'm also going to add a vertical line down from the point where those two semicircles meet, straight down to the bottom of our diagram. And now as this is a radius of the bottom circle, it must be two centimetres long. Or if I add one to the top as well, so a horizontal line coming from that point over to the left, that would also be two centimetres because that's a radius of the semicircle on the left. And we can see very quickly that this is a square. It's got the right angles that we've put in by the definition of our two lines. It must be a right angle at the bottom left because this is a quarter of a circle. So this is a square, which means our bottom line is also two centimetres. So that's very important. We can use this to now work out the area of A. So A is a segment of a circle. And a good way to find the area of a segment is to think of it as a sector, which I've put in red here, minus the triangle, which I've done in green. So the area is the area of the sector minus the area of the triangle. So the sector is just a quarter of a circle here with radius of two. So we're going to use our pi r squared formula. It's a quarter of that. So we've got a quarter times pi times two squared. We now need to find the area of the triangle, take this away. So that green triangle is a right angle triangle. So its height is two, its base is two. So the area of the triangle, half times two squared. Simplifying this, we have a quarter times two squared. So that's one, so that's pi. The area of the triangle is two. So the area of the segment A is pi minus two. Now, by the symmetry of our diagram, we can see that B is exactly the same. We could draw the same sector and triangle on the other side, looking into the semicircle on the left. So the area of B is equal to the area of A. So that is also pi minus two. Now comes a slightly trickier bit. We're going to try and find the area of C. So if we took the whole of our original diagram, we've got a quarter of a circle there. To be left with C, we would need to take away those semicircles from the quarter circle. But because those semicircles overlap, if we just took away both semicircles, we'd be taking away our A and B areas twice, which is obviously no good. So to get the area of C, we need to take our original sector, the four by four bit. We need to take away both semicircles but then we need to add in one lot of A and B to take into account that fact that these circles overlap. We don't want to take it away twice. Now let's work out these bits separately. The large sector is a quarter of a circle. The radius is four. So again, we're going to use our pi r squared, but times by a quarter. So we've got a quarter times pi times four squared. The semicircles, it's half a circle. So a half pi r squared with the radius is two. And we've got two of them. So two times a half pi times two squared. And we know that A and B are both pi minus two. So adding them back in, we've got two lots of pi minus two. Simplifying this, the large sector, quarter times four squared is four, so that's four pi. The semicircles, two times a half times two squared is four, so that's minus four pi. And expanding the bracket at the end, we've got two pi minus four. So simplifying again, four pi minus four pi, cancel each other out. So the area of C is two pi minus four. One last step, we now just need to add together the areas of A, B and C. So we've got pi minus two for A, we've got pi minus two for B, and we've got two pi minus four for C. Bringing that all together, we end up with a blue area, 
that's equal to 4 pi minus 8 square centimetres. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.